Hey guys, it's Jaren Belke from Blackwood and Melson, and today I'm going to review my own Ranger impression work in progress. So, first, uh, let's go over the gun. I'm going to go from the muzzle to the stock, and then tell you uh, what I like about this gun. So, you have your standard birdcage flash hider, uh, surefire replica. Normally, I would not use this flashlight uh, if I was playing a normal game, but there's going to be a night out that my team is hosting, so I'm going to be using that, so I'm trying to get used to that. I have a uh, PEC 15, and it's going to be used for uh, housing a battery, because this gun is the WE Tech AEG, and it's wired to the front, so I'm going to be running my 11.1 LiPo. And then I have the CAC rail system, CAC grip, Trijicon Replica ACOG with the kill flash, and I have uh, our rear flip up sights in case I take the ACOG off, I can still be able to aim. Running a uh, 75 round PMAG and a uh, CAR 15 buttstock with some paracord and through it. So, yeah, this is my gun, and uh, get that out of the way. It's a uh, Block 1.5, by the way. So. I'm going to be working from my helmet down to my feet. So, this is a Midge 2000. It still isn't done, hence the work in progress. I still want to get an MS 2000 for it and possibly counterweight, because right now it's a little front heavy. But I have a Rhino arm with obviously a helmet out. And then I'm, I could always mount MVGs on it, just saying. Uh, this is a repro helmet, by the way, it's not real. The cover is not uh, real ACH one either, it's just a uh, cover I have laying around. So I need to get a new one. Uh, it doesn't have the proper IR tabs and stuff on it. But I have flak jack goggles on here. Normally you'd see ESS goggles, but I already had these, so I didn't want to waste any more money than I needed to. And these fit the kit, so it's good. Now, the straps are... Uh, they're good. Normal strap system here. And it has a nice padding system where you can move the pads, say, how if I were wearing a headset, which I currently am not because I'm redoing my comm setup, but say I were, uh, I could move the pads so it fits the headset a little more properly. Now, uh, the combat shirt that I'm wearing right now is an Emerson one. I don't have enough money for prize at the moment, so I just got this for a time being. Plate carrier is a fly manufactured EPC, which is normally made by Eagle Industries. The color is Ranger Green. Uh, all of my green is Ranger Green. So, uh, I'm gonna go over from the shoulder straps down to the bottom. So, the shoulders, uh, straps that I have, the uh, pads I should say, um, normally there are none, it's just the straps there. So I I uh, had an old MOPC and uh, the pads were black so I painted them a uh, color similar to the Ranger Green. I put helmet pads in because it lightened the weight and it was a little better than having no pads at all so until I get normal pads uh, I'm going to use these. And then running through there I have my one point bungee sling and I may be replacing that, may just be ditching it, I don't know right now. And then I have my push to talk, this is being replaced. Uh, I have an Emerson Chem White, it's more so uh, glow stick because it's not one that you'd crack and it's IR, this is just one that runs off AA batteries. And then I have a blue little flashlight there. I have an admin pouch, and so I have my US multicam reverse flag on here. And inside here, I have a flashlight and a pocket knife, if I believe, and I can store any maps that I may need to, plus my phone. On the front here, we have a triple shingle, and on the left, we have two M4 magazine pouches and then an IFAC pouch, which is basically your medical utility. Now, on this side, I have another M4 magazine pouch, an Ambitter pouch for a PRC 148, I believe. And I'm going to be getting a toy soldier one, so that's going to be useful. 
And uh, the coloration is off a little bit. It's foliage green. That's why, I don't know if you can see the stitching. I think it's a little bit different. It's close enough for now until we get real pouches. Another 2M4 magazine pouch is this one. It has a water bottle filled with the ammunition. So I'm pull that out. So, there's that. It's a little dirty. But, it keeps it silent. Gives me a lot of extra ammo. Now, I'm going to go over the back of the plate carrier. I have a Fly MAP. It can house whatever you need in a pack when you're out on the field. Um, I personally have stored three different uniforms in here. And I normally run a uh, three liter hydration carrier, I should say. And there, a bladder. And that runs right here to the hose. So I can access that very easily. It tucks away nicely right next to uh, my admin pouch. I have an IR flag on the back. I've seen a couple of reference pictures of it, so that and also like always, IR flag reversed on the shoulder. So on this side, I have uh, I have the um, the handcuff retention things, instead of using like uh, zip ties or like the fighter and chicken band things, these are just the actual ones that the military would use, more about military police. And then this right here, back there, is the breaching charges that I made, and obviously they don't, I'm not going to blow something up there, but it's nice, fits for the kit, looks pretty cool. I need to get pouches for them, so... For now, they're just sitting there. And then, on um, the back, if you saw, there's the mag dump pouch here. And I have that from my uh, TMC belt, my battle belt. And then, on this side, I have chem lights where I can easily rip them off, break them, throw them. And right here, I have a dual pistol mag pouch. It's also fly. Most of these pouches came with a play carrier, so I just had this, and I don't have a sidearm at the moment, so I would run speed loaders in here if I need to, easily accessible right now, because my is amazing. But, I don't have a holster for a pistol. I don't have an M9, so I didn't find a need in uh, running a sidearm on this kit. Alright, now we're gonna go move on to the pants. Uh, one thing I forgot though, gloves, oh please, forgot about that, I don't know how I managed to forget about that, but these are OD green, I believe, yeah, that's pretty cool, so. but yeah, these are Oakley gloves, and anyways, back on the pants, these are Emerson pants, uh, they're G3s, so they don't have the elastic -y material, and I personally prefer that, because I've heard people complain about the elastic material because, say, you store it in a hot area. Uh, sometimes the material might melt and stick to itself and go bad on you and dry rot. So, I'd rather just deal with this. And these are knee pad inserts, obviously. They're TMC ones. And I can just pull them out, not wear any. But uh, for the kit, obviously, I'm going to use them. And it's pretty cool because, and this pocket, there's uh, like it's almost like um, elastic waistband. I can remember how you have that. It's like that, but it's uh, where you can adjust it. So I can raise and lower it. But it's pretty nice where it is right now. And that's in uh, the top pocket on both sides. And it's pretty cool because these have, uh, I believe, one, two, three, four. Four. They have four pockets on each leg, from what I know, and that's very useful. You can store whatever you need to. Now onto my boots. They are rugged out back boots, I believe. And uh, normally you'd see guys running Merrells, like Merrell Moabs, but uh, I didn't have the money for them at the time, and my mother had bought these for me uh, before I even started this kit. So I figured just use these, and uh, like 
like I said earlier, why waste money when you don't need to? So, normally you'd see guys either with hiking boots or just issued grunt boots, and I didn't want to wear my grunt boots, so I wore these. It's a little bit nicer when you're uh, getting in the corners and stuff, close to quarter environments and more mobility, so to speak. So, sorry if I seem sort of out of it. I'm really tired, so I'm feeling more right now. But anyways, this is my Ranger work in progress. Uh, the impression will be complete most likely this fall coming up, and I will keep you updated on that. And if you're wondering what time area this is, it is for... Uh, late 2010, early 2011, they're phasing a lot of stuff out. This could be used as early as 2009 from what I'm running currently, but I like how I have a little bit of play in there with uh, changing out certain pouches and placement of certain items. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, I'll keep you updated. Check out our other videos. We have reviews on guns coming out. More team info, info about ops that we may be hosting soon. Um, Right now we are hosting Operation Anaconda at our local field, so we'll obviously have some video footage of that, and uh, yeah, keep posted, subscribe, comment, give us some feedback, tell, you, tell us what you want to see, and uh, hopefully you like your stuff. Check us out on Facebook too.